Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 18th of 2021. Well, it is titled rings around the ring nebula. So what do we see here? Well, yesterday's image showed us the ring nebula in a nice detailed image. This one looks a little bit deeper and further around it to show us far more detail. So if you recall, the central regions there include the white dwarf star at the center, which is the compact core left over from a star like our sun. And the inner portion here, the lighter colors, not the reddish that's further out, was the outer layers that we looked at before. However, when we take even deeper exposures and look further out, we see that sometimes that the expulsion of those layers, if you recall, the core contracted down and the outer layers were expelled out into space. Now when we look at just simple images of the ring nebula, it looks like it was one great puff, and all the material was expelled outward. However, here we see that it actually occurred probably multiple times that layers were expelled over periods of many thousands and thousands of years. So that it is not just a one time event, but that we can actually see that some of the outer layers were expelled once, and then another set and then another set until finally the remaining layers were expelled, and the core was left behind. So studying in great detail like this, we can begin to understand a little bit more about the process that forms a planetary nebula. Now planetary nebulae are fascinating to astronomers because this is what happens at the end of the life of most stars, including what will happen in five to six billion years with our sun. Our sun will eventually expand to fill in much of the inner solar system and then finally become so large that those outer layers will be unstable and expelled out into space. So coming back in five or six billion years, a distant astronomer looking back towards our sun would see something much like this and would see the core of our sun is the white dwarf at the center, which is what is energizing this entire nebula because of its intense heat and ultraviolet radiation it produces. And then what's left of the outer layers of the sun expanding out into space to eventually become seed material for future generations of stars. So that's one of the things we look at with stars is that they do constantly build on another the very first generations of stars expelled outer layers out and those became parts of the material of new stars. And each new generation becomes more and more enriched in heavier elements it, to some extent with planetary nebulae, but in a larger extent with supernova explosions where have even heavier elements are produced. So something here to look forward to in about five to six billion years with our own sun. So that was our picture of the day for August the 18th of 2021. It was titled Rings Around the Ring Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.